How would it change if we have pentan 3 on? Well, there isn't a major change. The only thing that changes is instead of the ketone um, functional group, the functional group in this case, which is the um, carbonyl group, the double bond oxygen, that goes to the third carbon like so. And there I've got my four bonds around, my four covalent bonds around the carbon atom. And this one needs to take uh, the two hydrogens over there. So we've looked at the first few um, ketones. I want you to do now on your own, you can work out the following. Octan, four own. And you can also tell me what would be, give me two or three isomers of hexanone. So hexanone just tells us there are six carbons. There's single bonds between the carbons with the AN. And O and E tells me there must be a carbon with one double bond somewhere in the middle of the molecule, thus representing the functional group of the carbonyl groups and making it a ketone, right? And so that's what we've considered over here. So I want three isomers. By now you know what's an isomer. Go back to the definition if you don't. And also draw out the structural formula, the condensed structural formula, and the molecular formula for both of these molecules. Okay for each of these ketones. Great.